Hey, hello, back here in the garage. I I made a video of this uh, rest for the um, cutter grinder, but everything went wrong with it, and any program's not working, so I can only make 11 minute and 38 second videos until I figure things out. But I'll show you what I've uh, been up to. I, I totally made a disaster out of this place. It, uh, it was actually pretty clean. And now it's, uh, I'll show you the debris field. <laughs> Move that out of the way. Look at this stuff. That's more coffee cups. Yeah, I just got it. What a mess, huh? <laughs> well, anyway, this here is what I made. Get that swung around to that point anyway. Let me put this on a tripod here and keep an eye on the time. Because I can only make 11 minute, 38 second video. Until I get things figured out. So I made this rest here. Um, the business end is over there over the table and I can leave that intact. And... Uh, Come over to this end and do some uh, drill bit grinding, for example. Let me click that on here. And I can show you that. No problem. I can get a plug back. <laughs> okay. I will grab the drill bit. So, have these really cheap Harbor Freight drill bits. And uh, a lot of times they don't drill, but they work if they're not bent. And I got this just a nice little rest here. And I can touch up drill bits. Beautifully. Isn't that nice? Okay. I'll kick that off. Now, the way I built this thing, let me see if I can rotate this a little bit more here. Let that spin down. I got the, I got it uh, onto this angled base. All of this is scrap metal, okay. And and this part here, look at all the holes it had in previously. I even had to plug a hole with a brass screw to make it look reasonable, and dust wouldn't fall down. So I have these big knobs I made here, and they push on these uh, brass pads, and that'll lock this piece on to here. Get it on there. And it'll slide, see, move like that. And uh, with those brass pads, brass locks really tight with aluminum. And then I also have a riser here that's fully adjustable as a rest. See? I can set that anywhere. Then I'm also going to make a little tilt thing here that uh, flips down so I can uh, do some angles on those uh, jeweler's lathes. Uh, but I thought this would be a nice attachment and it, it's working out just really, really good. And what do we got here for uh, time-wise? You know, it's just really hard to say. I don't know if it's showing up very good. <laughs> but uh, this uh, kind of adds some more versatility for me in this shop. So I thought I'd show you what I've been up to. And I'm very active and I'm doing stuff all the time. And uh, for the short uh, future here, I'll just be doing short videos like this. 
that's what it looks like what do we got oh there's the time I see that well we're not we're not off too bad and I'll get a drink of coffee here mmm now I got to clean this mess up huh let me get this off here look around a little bit show it from this side see I got my swing around uh, jeweler's lathe here then I can bring come on over here I have to the handles on the other side and I can swing this on over to that side yeah see this is a nice little spot here for the uh, to work the jeweler's lathe and uh, sharpen the bits here the bits are very very small tiny little things this one right here and they're just kind of uh, um, hard to hold in the machine and they really don't need to be machine ground you know it just this is something that's just pretty much just easy does it with your fingers and then uh, then stone them that's a cutoff tool there one eighth inch isn't that cool i really like working in the miniature too so you know i can work both ends here or both faces of the wheel and uh just makes things quite nice these uh, cutter grinders, you can just do so much with them. And uh, they've got places all over on the top and everything that you can uh, attach stuff to the wheel head table, other things like that. So this one's got a couple of, uh, of uh, attachments on it. Uh, I made this one. And... Uh, where it was before over at Hanford, they made this device here, which is a, uh, a basically an adjustable uh, tooth rest, but it can do all kinds of other things. You can um, configure this uh, machine kind of like a pantograph, too, and I'm going to be playing around with that. I played with that one time. You can uh, do some form shape cutters and... Uh, things like that all takes time to set up like this old stuff does this um, horizontal mill i used uh, exclusively on that attachment over there and i did all the functions on it with the uh, vertical head and uh, the horizontal spindle this uh, switches to uh, vertical to horizontal really quickly this stays on here and it's driven by a spline so instead of an arbor you put this spline here into the horizontal spindle and it drives the uh, vertical head so I um, I kind of got to uh, use this machine for the first time, uh, just like making something. And it is slower than a bridge port, but it does a really good job. It really does. Just really nice. And that's the way it is. So, you can take <laughs> antique machines and make some new things out of it well i'm going to go load this video and come up with some other things to make i just got uh kind of got sidetracked on that tooth rest thing but this uh little garage here is ending up working out pretty good okay i will be back and you guys have a good day bye bye